Hi, I'm Grace. <laughs> I can't talk without my hands. Hi. <laughs> In today's video, we're going to be growing Orbeez in different liquids. Welcome to our liquid laboratory. Today, what? I like liquid laboratory. Liquid laboratory. Alliteration. We love some good alliteration. Love liquid laboratory. Anyway, we are going to be putting Orbeez in jars today. Then we're going to be pouring various liquids in them and see if they grow overnight. Those Orbeez that do grow, they get some beautiful flowers put in them. Here's the basic idea. We're going to let these Orbeez grow overnight in various liquids that we found around the kitchen and see if they absorb. If they absorb, we will then put plants in the Orbeez and see if those plants survive. Now Orbeez are typically in water. It's a super absorbent polymer that just absorbs the water and they get big. You've seen them uh, done by Nate and Kelly uh, quite a few times in this quite channel. Quite a few times. But well, we wanted to, to step it up and experiment to see if other water-based and non-water-based liquids would make the Orbeez grow. All right, so to make sure that we did this evenly, I made sure that we are going to um, have our Orbeez measured out. We're gonna use one teaspoon in each of them. And of course, we're gonna use water as a control and compare from there. Here's our A1 sauce. Seeing A1 sauce in that volume like, is totally unappetizing. And it's very unappetizing. That's why they have a dark bottle. That makes sense now. Teaspoon of Orbeez. Oh, a little more than a teaspoon. It kind of looks like sprinkles on top of hot fudge. Mm, yummy. You think it tastes the same? Grow, little Orbeez, grow! You got some stuff down there. It is the next morning <laughs> and we have been back in the studio, checked out these Orbeez and we were very impressed about what they did in these liquids. I, I can't fathom some of these. <laughs> like, I, I agree with that. Some of them are just a little bit mind blowing. Um, here's our control of the water. Move these paper towels out of the way. The water did very, very well, which is no surprise. But when we go down the line, checking out the tonic water. I'm surprised. Do we want to get out Black the light. light and see if we made these bad boys glow? Um, I think it is going to glow just because there is some liquid still in there. Ooh. Not super not, glowy. No, it's not jumping out like I thought it was going to. <laughs> so next up we had the bang. So this was the really cool one where the bubbles were where pulling like, it pew, up. Pew, pew, pew. And it absorbed pretty well. Not as big as the water, but definitely got much, much larger in size. It did very well. I was impressed by the Bang Energy drink. Um, and then the next one that we have is the vinegar. We were both disappointed in this one when we got here in the morning. I wanted more. It's... We expected more out of the Only 5% five, 5 acid, so I was hoping that more water would be able to absorb. But, no. Maybe if we added more vinegar to it, they would get bigger. So maybe they just extracted all of the water that they could mm. out of the vinegar. Very true. So, I think I want to add more vinegar to this one and then see what it looks like later. Okay. Tomorrow. Now, we're going to check out our OJ. This one, they did a pretty good job of growing. I'm impressed with their size. I just kind of want to check out how big they actually yeah. are because it's kind of hard to see in the OJ. They're bigger than the vinegar, mm -hmm. smaller than the water and the tonic water in the bang. Code Red Mountain Dew was next in line. And let's compare it to the other soda, the root beer. Since we have two sodas here, I expected them to the almost root beer, be the same. Yeah, but the root beer actually looks like it absorbed more. The Orbeez look bigger than the, the Code Red. Definitely bigger. Let's get them out and see uh, true size. The root beer are larger, have a little bit of that brown tint, and then the Code Red are smaller and got a little bit of red tint everywhere. We've Ooh. dyed our Orbeez with soda. I love that. Ooh, the milk did something very interesting. Did it so, curdle? No. We Orbeez have Orbeez sticking to the bottom. It looks like they've created a layer of just like a film. Let's get those out of there. I'm going to pour all like, these out. Like dump it all out. Yeah. I really want to see what happened on the bottom here. Do you see? It's it's literally, oh, it's, a, it's like glue in here. Milk, whoa. 
And that's not your hyperhidrosis? Not my hyperhidrosis. This is literally the paste from the Orbeez. Maybe. That when I let it dry, it gets tacky. Hmm. I mean, some of the Orbeez fall off my hand, but I'm just so interested. We got some ranch. <laughs> the ranch is quite dense. Viscous. It's uh, it's not even flowing out. Look at it there. Dang. It's like we've solidified. So I wonder, because ranch has milk in it, I wonder it if these created out. their own oh, paste also. Smells like ranch. I feel like it might just be like the ranch adhesive, because look, it's like not, they didn't absorb, they're not no. really any bigger. A little bit, because here, there's the size of a normal Orby, un unranched. <laughs> un <laughs> and you see the green one there. So it grew to like, what, four, five, six times its size? Mm -hmm. That's about it. So, so far our estimation has been fairly accurate. It was Got pretty a, good. Little variability. Next up is Grace's amazing choice, A1 sauce. There is some change in there. They might be about equivalent to the ranch. Less than the ranch, but they did absorb. Like they four did. times the size approximately, that's yeah. a guess. So it did work. Now I want to check out the hand sanitizer because this one is so cool. It literally, I'm going to turn it so y'all can see it, mm -hmm. it literally created strands. Because you know how we put them in there and we were saying how they were suspended in the gel? Yeah, they just floating there. They fell to the bottom, but as they fell, they created these, like, fingers. It did grow a little bit. Not barely. by much. It, like, doubled in size. Put that back in there. And check our last one, oil, which has no water. No water. It is actually the opposite of water. It's non-polar. I'm going to go zero growth. Nothing. nothing. Literally nothing. It's just shinier. Of 13 different liquids, only one of them had no water in it whatsoever, and the Orbeez did not change at all. Zero. So they're a super absorbent polymer, and they're supposed to absorb the liquid, specifically water, is what they can absorb. I think the next step is you did an experiment recently with flowers, oh, yes. and so we had some leftover ones, and I thought it would be fun to build on top of Kevin's video. And since he was watering plants with different liquids, I was like, well, why don't we grow Orbeez in different liquids, and then we'll put the plants in there to see if they can survive. <laughs> All right, there they are. We're gonna let them sit for 24 hours, and then we're gonna check them back out. If it is not good, we'll call the experiment, but we might have it last a week, two weeks, and see what happens to our beautiful snapdragons. We had our plants in Orbeez for a few days now. That's what we decided to go with, and... They're hanging out. Some of them were very successful. Others wah, 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 have seen their demise. Mm. I'm actually pretty That's impressed. Tough. I don't know about you, but um, yeah. our H2O held up very well. Orbeez did say that you can grow their plants in their Orbeez beans. Um, it did decently. The flowers look a little crisp. Mm -hmm. But besides that, I think it did Leaves pretty, look strong. Yeah, yeah, the leaves look very, very strong. I'm very impressed. Compared to our tonic water, this one looks wilty. I think the flowers look better on this one. Let's turn off the lights and uh, take a black light to it, see if the tonic water did anything to it. The edges Ooh, of the flowers of actually are glowing right on the tips. I don't know if the front one is, but on this, this back one here, right here, mm -hmm. tilt it forward a little bit, Grace, we can see right on the edges where it's actually like wilting, it is glowing. So we have the code red. And if you remember from the root beer and the code red and the bang, mm. these all three made our Orbeez beads float to the top. The carbonation, the bubbles lifted them up, which is really neat. Really interesting. They all look pretty good except for the bang. If I pull this guy out. It looks really it's sad. Really, really sad. Um, the leaves look good, just the flowers look very, very unhappy. <laughs> So moving on to our really bad smelling ones. Right. Well, OJ doesn't smell that bad, but the plant itself isn't smelling that great because it's all shriveled up. I mean, it's literally in the fetal position saying, help me. You're not supposed to leave milk out on the counter for a very long time. Oh, and God, I can't even pull it out. It's been a few days. <laughs> so I'm going to step back. And as well, they're intertwined in the roots and the leaves are just sad. Very, very sad. There's one that fell off and is actually inside there. I think this is the first one we've had a leaf actually yeah. fall off completely. This Vinegar guy. is looking awful. This is acid. Plants do not like acid. At all. Even though it was a 5% acid. This thing isn't even a plant anymore. Now the biggest RIP. <laughs> what? So the hand sanitizer. Oh my god. It's 
engulfed the plant. It's like swallowed it. Right up swallowed it. I'm gonna see if I can pull. Oh. It's a lot more liquidy, right? Much, much more liquidy. Like hand sanitizer was highly viscous, and this is like water. Yeah, it turned really quickly into water. If there's anything else you want to see us do with Orbeez and growing them in different liquids that you did not see here today, or growing plants in different substances, let us know. We'd love to grow some more plants and make some Orbeez grow too. Hey friends, if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there so you never miss any of our content. We'll see you then. Oh, it just doesn't get any better.